This video describes how to stop a robot before it hits a wall by using the ultrasonic sensor. What we want to do is have the robot drive straight ahead towards an object like a wall. So you can see that here, my little robot is going to drive straight ahead at this box, this Lego Mindstorms box. That's the wall. And we want the robot to automatically stop before it hits the wall. We'll use the ultrasonic sensor here to measure the distance from the wall. Let's get started. So first, you'll take your basic robot and attach the ultrasonic sensor to it. Uh, this is a very simple mount. It only takes two pins, two pins right here, one there and one there to mount it to the robot. So you can do something fancier if you want, but this, this should work. So you do that, and when you're done, we'll start coding. Okay, well, I'm going to start right now. So I'm going to start the Lego EV3 education app. Now this will take a while, so um, I'll skip over that when I edit this, and so you don't have to wait. So I'll have to wait, but you won't have to wait, so just sit tight. All right, so the Lego software has started. Okay, let's start coding. First, I will create a new program. So I've created program 19, and that gives me a start block, and I've enlarged it a little bit so you can see it better. So the first thing we'll do is tell our robot to drive forward in a straight line towards the wall, and I'll use a move tank block to do that. Now in previous projects we've told the motors to run for so many seconds or so many rotations. By using this menu we'd select on for seconds, on for degrees, or on for rotations. But for this project we're going to do things a little different. We won't tell the motors how long to run. We'll just turn the motors on by clicking on and then later we'll tell the motors when to stop. Okay, so we've to told the program to turn the motors on. Now, how do we stop the motors before the robot hits the wall? We add a weight block like this. Take this hourglass block, that's called a weight block. What a weight block does is it stops the program and it waits until something happens. Now you're probably wondering, what does it wait for? Well, it waits for whatever you tell it to wait for. In this case, we want the robot to wait for the ultrasonic sensor to tell us that we're too close to the wall. To do that, we bring up the wait block menu by clicking on the little clock there. So we scroll down a little bit and select the ultrasonic sensor. We choose the ultrasonic sensor because that's the sensor that tells us how far we are from the wall. Next, we select the Compare option here. Why do we choose the Compare option? We choose the Compare option because we want to compare how far we are from the wall to how close we want to be to the wall before we start putting on the brakes. For example, if we want to put the brakes on when we get within 12 inches of the wall, we have to compare the distance measured by the sensor to 12 inches. So we will select the compare option. Next we get to choose whether we want the sensor to report distances in inches or centimeters. You can choose whatever you want, but I like to work in inches, so I'll choose inches. Now we have to select the compare type by clicking on this, this first uh, data field here. We select the compare type. And we have a lot of selections here, equal to, not equal to, and so forth. We will choose option four here, less than, because we want to stop the robot when the distance to the wall is less than some number. So the less than is the natural thing to use here. Next, we have to choose the threshold value. That's this second field here. If you click on that field, the threshold value selector comes up. Now we have to choose the threshold value. The threshold value is the distance from the wall where we want to start stopping the robot. I'm going to choose 4 inches. 
Now, if your robot is going fast from a larger distance, you probably want to give it more than four inches of room. But since I, my robot is very close to, the, to its wall, I'm just going to choose four inches. Okay, so we've told the robot to pause at the weight block right here until the robot is four inches from the wall. While the program is waiting, the motors will continue to run since we already started those in the, this block here, the second block. So what do we want to do when the robot gets within four inches of the wall? That's simple. We stop the motors. When the robot gets within four inches from the wall, we want to put on the brakes. So after the weight block, we want to add a block that stops the motors. We will put a move tank block after the weight block to do that. And we'll tell the move tank block to simply stop. We'll click stop or off and it, it, uh, it, it loses most of its fields and all it has is this field and we can either coast to a stop or brake to a stop but let's stop quickly just so we don't don't hit the wall that's it just four blocks that's all you need to stop your robot when it gets close to the wall so give it a try feel free to experiment instead of just stopping when it reaches the wall maybe you could try to make it back up back away from the wall or maybe you could make it turn around and head in a different direction. And I'm sure you can come up with other ideas. So go ahead, give it a try, and have fun.